Welcome back to GB Guns, and here's a box that has yet to appear on this channel from Chonic, the NATO and ISO 9001 compliant or exceeding factory. Um, this is one in from Century, their new TP9 SF Elite, and that's what's coming up next on GB Guns. So when the TP9s first came out, I had sort of dismissed them as a Walther copy and as a Walther fan I gotta say I was a little upset that they were getting so much fanfare and the P99 wasn't. The TP9 SF definitely demonstrates some evolution and uh, this gun really impresses me. First we'll take a look in the box. You do get this very bright and large full color explanation that uh, disassembly and assembly happens differently on this gun. More on that in a bit. Got the registration card. You get a trigger lock. Magazine loader. Just the basic type, but handy. Interchangeable back strap. Two magazines. 15 round. Spare fiber optics, because this has a fiber optic front sight of the green and pink or reddish variant. Instructions and the little pin, or spare pin, for changing the rear grip panel, which is excellent. I haven't seen that before. With its own separate tool and instructions. The gun, <coughs> which comes in this uh, level 2 retention type holster, at the top, we've got the paddle for the holster, and you can tell by these bits here that the gun is clockable to different positions. We have our cleaning brush, and a cleaning rod, and the manual tucked in nicely. Looking at the manual, it is full color, and has quite clear breakdowns. Overall, a very impressive package for such an affordable firearm. Haven't shot it yet, obviously, but uh, that's what these first impressions are all about. This, so far, is impressing me. Pull the gun out and take a look at it. Of course, here's the retention device. Look at that. There's that beautiful tungsten color that we've been seeing coming about. First, we'll show clear. And begin our walk around the gun. Slide to frame fit is excellent. Got a wee bit of a crowning on the barrel there. It's very impressive. There's our fiber optic front sight. Front slide serrations for doing press checks, which as a press check guy, I appreciate. Three rail slots. The takedown locks or, or the takedown lever is nice and large and comfortable. The slide release, slide stop, is definitely easily reached on both sides. Nice and long. We've got a trigger safety doohickey a la Glock style. Trigger won't come back until that's in there. That is a smooth trigger. Nice reset on that too. Take a look more at that later. Some texturing on the front, general texturing on the side. We have our cocking indicator. Interesting with this flush closed off plate here. Looks like a little bit of a flaw in the coating. Nope, it was just stuff stuck to it. The matte rear U sight is known to lend to better, quicker sight acquisition on the front sight. If I can get the camera to play along there. And coming around the right side of the gun, we do have a side release for left handers. Magazine release looks to be reversible, but is not ambidextrous. Overall fit and finish nice. We've got a loaded chamber indicator that pops up. Pretty good looking gun. And that that is I love that color. That is a neat color. Let's get it apart and take a look more at the gun. Before we do that, we should check trigger pull. 
because that just felt too nice. Four pounds, seven ounces. And it's very smooth. Four pounds, 6.8 ounces. That is consistent. Four pounds, one ounce. Very nice trigger. All right, now we can do the disassembly. So of course, make sure it's clear. Drop the magazine. Here's where it gets different. So you start by pulling down on the takedown levers. Push the slide forward about an inch. After pulling the trigger, and then lift the slide up and off. Isn't that interesting? I'm sure, that wasn't the smoothest. This is only the uh, second time I've attempted this. Looking at our frame, nice and machine. We've got quite a large steel insert there. And the slide up close. Nice and clean machining in there. Of course, the coating helps. Captured flat recoil spring on a looks like metal guide rod. Doesn't want to flex at all. Get our barrel out. Nice polish on the feed ramp there. We'll check for chamber support. That's pretty good support, folks. If you're not familiar with what we're talking about, it's how much of the casing actually goes into the chamber. The problem is some, like a Glock, believe it or not, can leave about that much unsupported. And in case of anything going wrong, you can end up with the case rupturing and uh, blown up in the gun. It's also good fit, just a wee bit of play, but there needs to be for a reliable function cycling. I'd say overall, I'm really impressed. It seems like a heck of a gun for the price. We'll get it back together and out to the range, put some rounds through it, and let you know what, you th what we think. I know that uh, the Chonic series of pistols, the TP9 and V1 and V2 and all that have been very popular. And I apologize that we haven't uh, had one out yet, but here we are, we're gonna fix that. And uh, I'm really actually looking forward to this. Now reassembly is a bit tricky as you saw there. So you line the slide with cutouts on the frame. Bring you about an inch from the rear, let's say, which looks like there. And rack. Nope, not quite. There we go. Just takes some getting used to, just like learning any and a new firearm. But that is the Chonic TP9 SF Elite. Seen it here on GB Guns and we'll get it out and do some shooting. I'm expecting some good groups from this. Let us know your thoughts on the gun if you've got one already or if you've seen one somewhere else and liked it or didn't like it uh, or experiences or if you have any other TP9 series. Comments down below. Photos are always welcome over on our Facebook page. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching GB Guns, and if you watch this far, you appreciate our format and what we're doing, or maybe you're waiting to make that really angry comment. Either way, click the big griffin up here to subscribe, the link over here to show you a related video based on what you just watched, or down here is the playlist relevant to this video. Once again, we appreciate your feedback, your comments, join us on Facebook, Instagram, and we'll see you in the next video.